Hey guys, my name is Joe and in this video we're going to be going through um, me creating this building asset park. It's um, just a screen recording and I'm just going to be making relevant commentary over it, right? So it's um, it's basically an image projection, again Hubert style, um, of creating 3D assets very, very quickly. So for, for this, I'm using a lot of image.com textures. And um, by the way, these assets are going to be they're going to be made available for free on Gumroad, so you can get them and do as you wish with them. They're going to be completely free, right? And um, let's just get into it, right? Um, right at this point, I'd already created the general form of the building, but just to create um, a little bit of more interest in the building, I'm selecting the window with the windows, no window pane. I'm selecting the windows and then adding a glossy texture to it, maybe by just re reducing the roughness and also the parts of the window that has some emission to it. I'm also selecting those parts and then running that through an emission shader just so that that emits some light and makes the building a bit more interesting. For here, I'm just really trying to break up the, the um, facade of the building, just um, break up the form. It's um, repeated a lot, so I just added the pipe there to add something a little bit different. So just to give the building a little bit, a little bit more credibility, I added um, a logo on top of it, right? Um, and, and that was it. Um, at this point, I was currently creating a store just like a storefront um uh, this high-rise building i wanted them to have like a storefront below it and the reasoning behind that is just um i just felt like maybe the building owners wanted an extra stream of income something more consistent instead of um a yearly payment of rent so they used the ground floor for a storefront so i i created like three of this and just spread it across the high-rise building So right here, I'm still creating, um, still creating storefronts. Um, maybe that place should be actually shorter. But for for this, this was this was tricky because it's not a bang forward kind of shot. You still see that the balconies are kind of at an angle. So I really had to trace one of those and then create loop cuts. So the loop cuts I was creating was still in the similar profile as the one that I cut through. So it was. Um, it was really kind of um wasn't that hard initially i thought it was going to be hard but when i did my leg into the water it was kind of easy to, to figure out So I'm just adding a little bit more detail to that to that building. Um, there's one semicircle there. So instead of trying to project it on the image, I recreated it by just using it first. For the window panes, you would see that they are a little bit glossy, but it was kind of plain. So what I did was to um, mix in a noise texture into the original, you know, roughness that the windows have, just to give it a little bit more um, something different, really. And for this, those parts that I am selecting the faces and bridging it, they are meant to be a balcony, but obviously that can be a balcony. But then I just wanted to bridge that part just to break up that um, flat, flat um, surface. That surface didn't make sense. So I just wanted to just make it look like a hand railing, but then it's not a balcony. It's just there. I just felt like it looked cool. So I used it like that.
This building is a pretty strong structure, but I felt like it looked so much more dominant with another of his duplicate beside the side. Those duplicate here and put it by the side. In hindsight, maybe I should have made the second dupli duplicate a bit bigger. You know, uh, I'm looking at that now and I felt like that would have been a better design design decision, but it's all good. So it's still the same loop cords, creating counter spaces, extruding that is going on here. What I just want to say is I think just going a little bit further with your modeling and creating detail actually adds a lot to creating building some image texture. You can literally just slap this on top of a building and on top of a cube and then call it a day, but just going the extra mile to create loop cords, create AC elements that you can duplicate around, selecting these windows, adding glossy where necessary, adding emission where necessary. It really does add loss. Like you can literally add a cube in your edit mode, reproject that on an AC and just duplicate that around. Like that won't take you so much time. Even though it's a, the task is kind of redundant, it's not like lighting or rendering that is straightforward. It's still really rewarding when you have done the right thing for like 15, 20 buildings. It looks really, really good. Trust me, it's such a gratifying feeling. So just going the extra mile to detail these things is, it, it's, it's really worth it. So same thing for this one. I'm creating one more storefront for one of the high rise building. It's um, still basic loop cords and creating counter spaces wherever I feel it's necessary and, you know, emitting certain parts and, and all of that. But for this, if you notice the building itself, it is very, very bright. So what I did, I tried to control that with like the RGB curve, especially for the, the um, convenience store itself, not even the banner, for the convenience store itself, it looks very, very bright. So in order to make sure that it's not it's not overexposed, I used an RGB curve to control the, the dark and the bright tones. And for this, I needed a flag badly. I didn't know how to cut it out for the middle paint. So I just created a rough outline of it and then reprojected. So it's really about just figuring out a way to make it better. You can literally cut a hole on the doorknob and extrude that out. A banner, you can just do different kind of things, whatever it is you want to do. Like here in Hubers has a great video on this and um, the possibilities are crazy. And I watch a lot of Max Hayes videos. Um, he does does a lot of the style of stuff too. And uh, yeah, I really enjoy his videos. So same thing was going on over here. It's still, still the same thing. Still same old stuff. And don't forget, I still, I have this on my gun road completely free to download whenever it is you 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 need a building park you can you can get it all completely free And again, something I would like to mention, you would notice that some, some when you're projecting and extruding, there are some parts of the texture that are stretched. It's, it will behoove you at some point to select those loops and reproject them. For some buildings, I didn't mind, I didn't care about it that much, but for some, it kind of disrupted um, the building from the side, you said I just had to reproject and, you know, use all of those. So it's still basically the same selecting of um, emission textures and gloss textures and just, recreating um so for that like when i do the facade of some of the buildings i just copy it to the side and not try to recreate anything again um so that's basically it for this video it's um i i, I have just five buildings here but in the park there are about 10 buildings you know you can always duplicate and change the form to try to create something new. so that's it guys so long and until i see you in the next one peace